Let's get one thing straight between you and me, Mr. Cameraman. The next time you come in this locker room, you knock on the door and you ask for me. The next time you barge in here without knocking on the door and wait for me to acknowledge you, I'm going to put my fist down your throat, my foot up your ass, and I'm going to toss you out like yesterday's garbage. Do you understand me? I am the main attraction of virtual wrestling and you will treat me with class and respect. I am not going to be insulted by a guy who's never done what I do in a wrestling ring and have done for the past 10 years and I will definitely not be insulted by some beta male who's never seen the inside of a gym and has never been an athlete before in his life. Now I understand you got a job to do and your only job is to sit there and keep that camera rolling and get my thoughts on the new NAW landscape. So you sit right here and I'll tell you exactly what I got to say. Ever since I came back to new NAW, I expected to be treated like a superstar. I expected to have the red carpet rolled out for me because finally, new NAW has a real main attraction. They have a real legitimate athlete, a true wrestler, a true god to worship. Joshua Bishop has come home. The promos should have written themselves. And on the night of my ceremonious return, what do I get? I get a coward attacking me from behind just before my return match. But like the true maverick I am, I handled my business like an alpha male and I beat him in the middle of the ring. But of course, we go to VWU Prestige, where I'm supposed to face Extreme Tony, a heavyweight titan, a legend in this business. And what happens? I go in with a sprained ankle and a damn groin pull. And what does new NAW management say? Tough shit, kid. Get out there. They don't care about the fact that their best athlete is facing a man like Extreme Tony at less than 100% and not getting a true competition. But like the maverick I am, once again, I should have beaten Extreme Tony in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. I nailed him with the second most electrifying move in virtual wrestling, the magnum opus, and I pinned him for a three count. Evidently, that doesn't matter to new NAW's referees who weren't taught that once their hands hit the mat for a third time on a pinfall, that is the end of the match. So that referee cost me a victory. And not only that, not only that, Extreme Tony had the nerve to try to attack me with a steel chair and then he went after my crippled leg and forced me to tap out in the middle of the ring. So yeah, congratulations Tony, you beat me. But you beat a crippled man in the middle of the ring and you should have lost to that crippled man if it wasn't for a backhanded referee helping you win the match that you shouldn't have won. Good job. Because if you see me at 100%, I'm going to show you what a Louisville slugger to the head feels like when you step in my hood, puto. And that, Raggedy Andy, that is real frustration. That is real rage. That is real anger. Not that crap you were whining about after what I did to your buddy Koala Mask. Whatever his name is. Let's get one thing straight. Wrestling is a contact sport. It's violent. People get hurt. People's eyes get busted up. People's bones break. People lose teeth. People get their heads busted in. That's the name of the game. And if you don't like that, walk your happy ass back to kangaroo land. Now you listen to me, Andy. I don't know who in the hell you think you are coming up to me and challenging me to a match and pretending that you, for one second, with your 5'10", 185-pound sack of potato self is going to accomplish by stepping in the ring with a 6'10", 355-pound alpha male like me. Now, I'll admit, you got some guts to be able to challenge me to a match like that. Guts, maybe, but you ain't got brains because you damn sure got a death wish. You listen to me, and you listen to me well, Andy. At page 42, you're going to learn a lesson in violence. 
You're going to learn what pure, unadulterated rage is all about. And for the first time in your life, you will feel helpless. You will feel like you do not have control of your life. Because by the end of page 42, you will learn that not only are your arms too short to box with God, you will have your face down in the mat, bowing to me, for I am the Lord and Savior of virtual wrestling. In Bishop's name, Amen.